Hi there, welcome to Race Centre. I'm Dazza, uh, and here on the dyno we have a Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. This one is a 2022 model, and it's the Euro 5 version. Um, it's important to note with the Euro 5, um, even though the bike isn't complete, that different to the Euro 4 version, um, that was that uh, this was updated in 2021. Um, the previous models, like the 2020 version, you could use um, uh, units like a Power Commander on them to tune them. With these Euro 5 ones, you can't. Uh, the reason being is that uh, the previous model, um, you, would, uh, you would unplug the standard O2 sensor um, because the O2 sensor on these bikes does make adjustments or leans the bike off on low RPM and lower throttle. Um, and what you did with the previous models is you could plug the power commander in and it would come with a little eliminator. So you would remove your O2 sensor from the bike um, and then plug your little eliminator in and that would get make sure there's no engine line. With the Euro 5, they're smarter than that and they're onto it. So um, even if you unplug the O2 sensor, which you need to if you want to tune it, um, and put one of those eliminators in, it knows it's an eliminator and you'll get an engine light. So you could tune it with the Power Commander if you wanted, however, you will have an engine light. Uh, so what we've done here is we've tuned it through the ECU. Uh, our friends at ECU Studio um, have developed uh, a map for us uh, uh, that, so that we could tune it. Um, they've done a great job with providing us the software to do it, so thank you to them for that. Um, and then we've gone and tuned it directly through the ECU, uh, plugged into all the usual things that we do, the twist grips, the actual throttle opening, um, and you'll see a bunch of wires there and sensors uh, going to the bike. We've also, uh, we, because this doesn't have ram air, uh, the, the intake here uh, is over here. We've got our um, intake air temperature sensor there. Um, and we've actually also put a DNA uh, air filter kit into this bike. So it's come up a treat. Uh, it's got a full Acura system, um, and on that, like obviously full, full systems and tunes like this aren't designed for the uh, public street, they're racetrack only. Um, that's, you know, so if you do put them on your street bike, your bike's going to be no longer legal or you won't be able to get a roadworthy or anything like that. So you need to bear that in mind and it will no longer meet the emissions uh, requirements. So. Um, these bikes out of the box are really good, amazing fun to ride, a um, bit of a like a hooligan bike, it brings out your inner hooligan, there's so much fun to ride. Um, the standard throttle maps, it's got two modes, uh, mode one and two. Uh, the mode two is the faster one, um, mode one's a slower one. Um, they're really good standard to be honest. Um, those who've watched other videos, I've talked about how some bikes, the throttle opens by itself as the RPM rises. This bike doesn't do that. They stay nice and static, which is great. Um, and they're actually really good out of the box. We do modify the throttle maps uh, a little bit uh, uh, from standard, but there isn't a lot of work that we have to do with them. They're really good. Um, with the standard fuel tune, um, we don't get a lot of extra power at 100% throttle than it does have standard or with, with the pipe. Um, what I mean is we definitely get more power with the pipe, but um, with the tune on top of that, um, the tune itself doesn't provide a lot more power um, at 100% throttle, but it does uh, give a lot, uh, a lot better mid-range response. It fuels the bike a lot better through the mid-range and off the bottom, so it does make a noticeable difference to ride, um, even though if the dyno graph probably doesn't do it justice um, uh, on 100% throttle. but. Certainly as you roll it on and off the bottom, it makes a big, a big difference because that's where the standard one with the standard O2 sensor in is leaning the bike off to meet emissions requirements. So um, that make, does make a, a really big difference. Uh, we've got our wide band sensor from the dyno right at the front here in the header. So we get a really good AFR re reading and can tune the smaller throttle and smaller RPM areas really, really nicely. Um, and as I said, it's come up a treat. Um, so yeah, that's about it on these things. Um, we do uh, have uh, three options with this, the tunes that we do on these. Um, we have a load in map. So if you didn't, you know, that's the cheapest option where you can load in one of our existing maps. Um, uh, then we have uh, a normal tune and then we have our R-spec tune, which is our highest level of uh, dyno tune. 
Uh, we're currently working on, we don't have it yet at the time of this video, but we're working on a method where we could actually uh, send maps to these bikes remotely so that if you're in a different country or whatever to us, that we can get you one of our maps. So um, yeah, uh, let's go make some noise.